Hello and welcome to the second session of our new arc of Godbound. This is the third arc uh, with these uh, characters, with this world, with this setting. And last time we introduced uh, Darius, a, a new character, and we kind of checked in where everybody else was. And we talked about things that we wanted to see on the table. And that was kind of a uh, a preview, preliminary session to what we're doing. My name is Lowell, pronouns he, him. I always mention my pronouns because it makes some people very angry when I do that. So I just want to get that out of the way. That will will cut some people out of the, the, the listening thing and good. Uh, so we are going to be taking up uh, today with that. As a reminder, uh, just uh, not going to do this every session, but just to remind us of what we currently have set as our lines, fails, and ask firsts uh, so that we know about that. Right now we have hard lines on dental horror, harm to children, homophobia, and sexual assault. We have veils for eye injuries, harm to animals, suicide, and torture. And then uh, ask first on epidemics, mind control, PC betrayal, or sexual content. Uh, and we are working from a map. The map is in the keeper there. There's a, a link to that that you can find there. And of course, our roller is there as well. Last time, we left off with kind of talking about who our characters were what their goals were, where everything is at, the things that are, quote unquote, on the table right now as big picture projects. These aren't things that we're immediately going to jump into right now, necessarily, uh, but these are the things that we know we have present mind. One is the dragon, the undead dragon that is there at uh, Geznaki, breathing foul undeath. We have the corrupting forest, that dark heart of the forest that is out there that has polluted some places and is still at large of the elemental evils. That is the one that is present. That is the sower. That is the dark force there. Uh, and of course, that's connected to some things with the, the siblings uh, from Tassos and so on. Uh we have also the angel that is uh, present at uh, Neharek, which is the big city there on the mainland, uh, uh, the sort of capital of uh, Gesnia. Uh, and that is, how do I best put that? Uh, that is a place that is kind of bounded off that there are forces that are at work there, uh, uh, angels that are operating there, and some people that have gone in. Uh, in terms of some other things that I think are worth keeping in mind, uh, uh, we have the ghost uh, and uh, Evedro uh, slash Ordevi. We have that as a thing that's on the table. Uh, we have Darius's past. Uh, we have... Uh, figuring out for Captain Ransom how he wants to establish his faith and his people that follow them. Uh, so that's uh, another important issue that is uh, out there, and that's uh, Legia in that. Uh, so we're going to be kind of taking up today with those kind of in the background, but I want to start with a kind of once around scene calling from each of you or a scene that we're going to see about uh your uh uh characters uh about uh, either interacting with npcs or with fellow npcs or doing something in the course of things just so that we uh see them before we kind of move to going okay let's get the group together to talk about what is what is happening uh, so I'm going to flip over here uh, to this. Uh, so uh, Threadless, uh, would you, uh, you have a luck roll, right? 
Oh yeah, I do. So we may have some numbers rolled today, so we might as well do your start of session luck roll just to get that out of the way. Okay. Um. So I think this is it. Let me. So it's a one d twenty, right? Yes, it is. I rolled a fifteen. Okay. So you, is that a good roll? Or that's a good bad? roll. You always want to roll high in this I, game. You switch. Yeah, you always want to roll <laughs> high in this game. Okay. If we were playing right. 2D20, then we'd want to roll that anyway. Uh, but, yeah, but, or if we play black. But anyway, that's it. We're good. We're good. I've got it. Uh, uh, so that is there. I don't think anybody else has any kind of start of session thing, if I recall correctly. Okay. Uh, so, Threadless, if we come back into you here at the college. Mm hmm uh we've had the arrival of darius we have those things that are on the table uh but we also have uh what threadless sees as the loom builder as things that need to happen so what is the scene that you want to call here to start i think The thing that is is perhaps right now the most difficult thing is is in fact um, the for me the undead dragon that has um, because I had stretched my dominion out to some extent um, and uh, and now the people are asking for my help. So I need to help. Um, and I think, let's see here. And we're at what a apotheosis. So I know. So you are level seven. So your apotheosis seven, uh, okay. which Pops. I believe means that you can speak with your followers. You can you also can appear in front of them. can also appear in front of them. And you can uh, essentially... Uh, anoint uh, uh, some of them as being sort of your uh, your your major follower, and then your high priest, and that kind of thing as well. Right. That's cool. Um. I think what I want to do is set up. Wow. I have an awesome set of of skills and stuff, mm -hmm. but I do not have something that is, how do you say, that it grants any kind of protection, particularly except for being able to build something. So why don't you go to someone else while I look through my options, okay? Okay. Uh, so let's come, uh, let's assume that uh, the last last scene I believe we had was with Ordevi uh, as he was being talked uh, uh, into retirement uh, 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 for the moment. Uh, so Assuming that that has occurred, uh, probably in the, the the recent recent past here, uh, let's come back to uh, Avedro. Uh, what do we see uh, Avedro doing? What is on his agenda? Um, I really like uh, Avedro to have a conversation, like a heart to heart, with one of his colleagues, maybe. In my mind, it was um, Tintefa, with whom he has a long history and who has been with him from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's Yashad uh, as well. And the heart to heart is like uh, kind of a what do I do now sort of thing. I've got this sabbatical slash forced retirement. Um, I think Ordevius or Ivedro is looking for some uh direction and he's trying to figure out sort of where he can go and what he can do 
So that's one idea for a scene. It would be entertaining if maybe uh, someone else were there. Um, um, someone, one of the other PCs uh, were there. Uh, that's one idea. And then another idea is uh, Ivedro, I think, really wants to go after this fallen angel. Um, and uh, um, perhaps seize an opportunity to create a... Um, what is it? A branch of the school uh, over in um, Miharic. So my, so I think he might kind of go over there and start using his godlike abilities to to kind of compel uh, Miharic to set up a school and so find some followers you, while he's there. So, uh, where do you want to start with? with that like which one do you think we want to do first of those two things i would like to do the, the sort of uh the what do i do now okay. conversation so uh, i imagine that there is that bit where they make sure that they have drawn you off from the school itself uh a place that has a little more time and attention to itself and uh uh, they they probably see you pacing a little bit in this, uh, and uh, eventually Tintefa will say, "Ivedro, I think this is the best choice for you right now. You have thrived on falling and rebuilding, and recreating from there, and this is another step on that ladder up, but." I have to ask you this, like, what is it you want to be? Not what is it you want to do? But what is it you want to be? Jeff, it's a, it's a, it's a compelling question. And I know I haven't always been kind or even respectful uh, to you, but um, Accurate. but I've always appreciated your, uh, your counsel and your gently or not so gently encouraging me to do the right thing. Um, I understand now that my role is not to be a school administrator as good as it, at it, as I am, but instead to bring the idea of knowledge to every corner of this world. And I think that's what I want to be. Do you mean by that literacy or do you mean something more to that? I mean a, a genuine interest in learning. Be it literacy, be it uh Inquiry, curiosity, whatever it is. I understand now that I can't just do that here in this school, that I need to do it everywhere. I think there is a, that that uh, where Tintefa is kind of nodding along when uh, uh, yeah, there is that bit where Yashad says, that is very admirable and incredibly stupid. You see a Vedro start to get wound up and then he's like, no, Yashad, I'm curious. Tell me, why do you think it is stupid? You have always been incredibly skilled at the existential uh, issue of here's a school, here's what we're going to do, uh, here are our classes. Uh, all of that kind of thing. But learning and education is a dangerous weapon in the hands of anyone who is not us right now. It is a thing that 
people, and by this I mean people with power, will attempt to stop, will attempt to destroy. And it's it's not even that, that they will allow you to build and then they will kill off those who you train or teach or so on. Uh, your big picture must necessarily contain that within it. Yashad, you have given me a lot to think about, and I'm grateful for your counsel. However, um, inelegantly, you delivered it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, Sherry inspired me to look at these apophysis things, and I wonder if I can ask Tintefa to be a prophet, and I fully expect him to say no, but... He says, a prophet of what? Well, like, um, um, I don't know, like, you're sort of one of the first followers. See, see, there, there's a better way for you to put it than followers, because yeah, I, that I does know, not I have know. any romantic sound to it whatsoever. I, um, one of the first believers in what we're, we are trying to do here. And I feel like you are a crucial aspect of delivering the message of knowledge to the world, however stupid it might be. I want one thing to be clear. I am not here because of what we are doing. I am here because of what you are doing and because I believe in what you are doing. And I am already a follower of you. If you wish to give me a title for that, I will take that up. But you already have my service and my loyalty to you, Professor. Tempeva is more I could than I could possibly ask for. I'm I'm grateful to you. And I don't know where else where you would put those things. So that makes sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh and one of the things you get to decide is like when do you point somebody as your sort of your main high priest? You can actually give them access to uh a couple of gifts. Uh so you should think about like what what does Tintefa get as your high priest? Does that seem like a, a fair question? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me come around to Ransom. Then I'm going to come to Tassos, then Darius, and then back to Threadless. Uh, Ransom, what's a scene that you would like to call? What is it something that you would like to do here? I am wanting to go and find, uh, it's going to be evening, I'm going to have a nice bottle of wine, and I'm going to try to find Ordebi. Uh, and uh, Ordebi, where does a Ransom track you down at? I think I'm probably not. Ransom, where are you? Um, well, I've, I've come from my quarters, so I would be, you know, I would have been there with getting the wine. On the ship? Um. Or in the? Probably in the, in the I, it probably would be in the, the library. Uh, I think I will be, maybe I'm out on like, um, um, a terrace or something. And since you want to talk to our Devi, it's evening. Right. That's okay. And I'm just sitting thinking about all the things that I've heard about today. Okay. Just watching the stars, listening to the alligators. <laughs> I think I walk up and, uh, uh, or Debbie, uh, would you mind a bit of company? Uh, I'm always happy to spend some time with you, my old friend. <laughs> and I'll move up and kind of 
like put my hand on the banister and as I pull it up, there's the bottle and two glasses that just appear there. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll pop the cork and pour. I, uh, I've been thinking about something. Yeah, I am religious philosophy uh, is not exactly my strong point, but mm. I suppose it's something I'm going to have to take more interest in, really, uh, with this light of work, but um, I was wondering if you could help me. I will do my best. I feel sort of inadequate in this way as well. Um, With the absence of the gods, I'm led to believe that the spirits have been descending down to the everlasting waters, and and while there, they wait for some sort of return. Seems like a reasonable theory, especially based on some of the things that we have observed. Yes. If I'm going to have followers, and if I, I wish to spread what I stand for and believe, it seems right and proper that my followers have a place to go when they pass on. However, it is against my nature, even in death, to think that my followers would be in bondage to death and my afterlife. I would wish for them to be free, eventually. So I'm curious if you might have opinions on an idea. I'm thinking of putting a ship on the waters down below, where my people will go when they pass. And they will get the adventure of sailing the everlasting waters there until they feel the call of the return and they leave the ship and are reborn. Does this seem... Is it a pure flight of fancy or divvy? Not even a little bit. I mean, it seems... Or if it is, then it's perfect. It seems like nothing would embody um, their uh, devotion to you more than spending their eternity uh, upon the waves. How would I go about getting to that waters? How do you get to the afterlife uh, other than the very obvious answer. Um, I'm glad you said that last part because um, I didn't want to go there myself. Uh, Lowell, is this something that any of us would know? How do you get uh, to the... How do I get to the... Afterlife? To the underworld besides practice, practice, practice? Um... <laughs> I mean, if anyone would, I was thinking it would be you. <laughs> so one of the things is, is that here is what you know about the cosmology of things. Is there is a space beyond in the heavens. That is where the gods existed, but it was also the walkways to other places. Uh, and that the, those heavens got shattered and broken and twisted and those paths got corrupted up there which is why we get the night roads that bleed down into the world historically in all the cosmologies there is this idea of the waters as underneath the world that is where souls that are not chosen by a god that are not under the auspices of a god uh go and are washed and and venture essentially like a big ocean of leith down there uh what you know 
what you have the sense of with the the afterlives that you create is it is you taking a portion of like conceptually that space in heaven and kind of boxing it off uh as as a story and as a place of refuge for the souls of the people who worship you when they would pass on uh there is an interesting question of how you would do that and i think that you would have to enact a myth and you would have to essentially uh walk on the hero plane uh down into the oceans down there and you would have to face someone or something as a trial to write that story that's what you would know Avedra. like that's how those kinds of big changes happen is is that that somebody has to create the myth of it I sense, Ransom, that if you started telling this story to your followers, though I've been told that they would like to another term for them, but let's just call them believers. <laughs> believers. The I like that. Syncophants. <laughs> <laughs> that, that the story will start to take hold and become something not only that that they've heard you say but they will start to believe it and when they start to believe it it will become true at, at the very least what will happen is it that truth will allow you to actually physically go enter into that story and enact this story make it real make it real like you literally would have to get on a boat with your followers like jason and the argonaut style and go and 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 hip, kick kick an undersea serpent's ass, uh, uh, and then you would build a little a little uh, afterlife. You let me know this. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Hmm. We have so much to do up above, but. Perhaps an expedition down below would be fascinating. Old friend, would that be something you would be interested in seeing? I I would love that. I think it would be, uh, uh, this is important to you, and it speaks to your compassion for your faithful. Uh, and if for no other reason than that, I would love to be by your side while we make this real. Evedro, I can't you. speak to, but or Debbie, definitely. Well, I thank you, and I hope you know that in whatever you wish or need, I am always there to help. I might need you to dump my girlfriend for me, but we can do that another time. That's something else. Oh. Oh. Well... She's a ghost. Problems? I'm not a ghost. I don't know. It's it's complicated. Well, I hate to hear it. Uh, it did seem to bring some joy. And it's probably for the best. You know what? I shouldn't have brought it up. Let's do the boat thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll drink to that. <laughs> and Tasso's the way I envision it partially is that that you have been enacting this story. And your kind of afterlife is a little bit different because it is existing in the nightmare scape, uh, in the dreamscape there. So that's mm -hmm. kind of kind of how uh, uh, you've been been operating. But uh, what's the scene that you would like to call here, Tassos? Um, I also went and looked at the uh, apotheosis things. Uh, and, uh, I think it would be interesting to set up a, a shrine in the, what's the town here on the island? So the town itself 
uh, is called uh, Bashala. It's also the name of the island, so it's kind gotcha. of gotcha. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, up up here in the um, academy, there's you know the the weird broken well shrine to uh, that undead goddess that's infested with a bunch of cats now. So people can go and find me there. That's easy enough, right? Um, but in the town, uh, I feel like there, there should be a shrine that people could come and, you know, petition me for any sort of needs or issues they might be having, anything that might be frightening them in their life. It might also be like a safe zone, like home, uh, like the, the nightmares can't touch you here sort of thing. It's an interesting thing because right now, uh, the the city itself is under the auspices and authority of uh the crocodile god uh the great rolling one uh and the only person who has any kind of presence slash shrine there uh is ransom uh uh down by the docks I mean, I don't need to be down by the near the water or anything. That's obviously their sort of thing. What do crocodiles even want, like upland? Well, keep in mind that the the town itself is is kind of over the water, so <laughs> it's like the backside of it. Right. I I I I, I only I only mentioned that just because uh, Ransom made a made a journey particularly to to kind of get permission to do that. But but you are Tassos. You certainly don't have to go and get permission. I mean, who would I even be asking? A god? I'm a god. Ask me. I said it's fine. So how do you want to do this? This good idea. Um. So for the the shrine itself, I, I sort of like that uh, like well house set up to it, um, and I think there's like a um, a sort of statue guardian angel thing on the inside that is uh, oh, words um, Kasabara, that that undead goddess, and you know, like a, a pack of cats, sort of roaming around her feet. Um, I suppose to to set it up, uh, I would either need like a team of builders and masons, or like some sort of monstrous creature with ten arms and too many legs and hammers for hands and things like that. But that would be very disturbing for the populace. Uh huh. So which one are you going to do? I mean, hiring masons, that just seems like the worst experience in life. I can't imagine doing that. So describe to me, so to like, you want to go down to the town, take one of their buildings or set up a new building? Like, like how, how what is this going to look like? I'm kind of trying to picture the practicalities of this. <laughs> I defy your practicalities. Yeah, it, um, it, because the way I'm reading it is you're going to go down as a uh, a, a many-armed monstrous thing, uh, take over part of their town, and build a shrine to nightmares. Maybe just like they're on the, on the, on the edge of the city, on the border of it. Like, I'm not going to gonna take their buildings or anything. So you're going to build a new building in their town? Yes. Okay. And you yourself are going to 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 build this with all I've of your amazing watched, skill. I've watched the dreams of architects and masons before. It's generally pretty easy. I'm sure in their dreams it is very easy. <laughs> uh yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's engage with those mechanics here. Uh why don't you uh make uh, for me uh uh a an intelligence check 
don't, I don't have a negative intelligence. See, that's good. No, you got a 13. I probably don't have any particular facts. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's a, it's a D20 thing. Yeah. That is yeah. an 18. Yeah. You've watched Threadless do this. You will build a a takeover part of it. Uh, people will, will flee away from there uh, uh, as you come and... Uh, 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 assume your monsters form to carry all of the, the hammers and things like that and you will build this uh, uh, darkened shrine with a statue of a rotting beautiful woman uh, and a bunch of cats that are uh, as, as you know the town is afraid of cats uh, uh, so uh, they're not allowed uh, and uh, you will we'll set that up with all of your sigils and markings there all of which have seemed maybe a little mm, gothy I want to say I, I invite several of the cats for the, the like, grand opening, sort of. Ta-da! They will will say, and what is it you want us to do? Well, this is a, a, a shrine to uh, the Nightmare Realm, and, and uh, you might find clients or, or, or people in need of your protection and services. There's a pause and and the lead cat goes Four of them. Oh 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 you want us to stay in this place. Well I, you, I, I, I thought you might check in. In this horrible, humid, sweltering, uh standing over water town? On on occasion well this is this is dozens of feet back from the parts that are standing over the water. Have you smelt this place? No, I've I've found noses and smell to be a whole thing that really growing past I haven't missed. Why is there something notable about the smell? Yes. And there are no carpets. There are no fireplaces. There are no students who come by and give us the best of the scritches. Uh, this this seems this seems like a a a, a low rent shrine by our standards. So carpets, braziers, and servants. That's not too bad. Yeah, you can get on that. What? I I mean I thought it's. Well, I, I, since you'll be in the... No? None of this? Are you telling us that we have to come and have people down here? Is that what you are telling us, my lord? Well, I mean, it it is a shrine. What What part of this are you not... It's an honor, generally, for people to guard the places of their holy beings. We are not like other people. Look, if I talk to someone about the carpets, will you at least consider stopping by once a week? That consideration will go into our heads, yes. Well, you you're, you're dismissed and blessed. You can go back out into the... You're already gone. I think as you come out, uh, you will see that uh, Hosk is there. He's kind of been waiting as you finish this up, and he will say, Master Tassos. Hosk? Um, may I inquire? No. I know what your answer would be if I put it in that way. What is this? Oh, it's um, a shrine where people can consider their fears and nightmares and perhaps hide from 
living manifestations of their own psychological issues that might be chasing them and trying to cause them, well, not harm. I feel like harm. People look at me when I say harm. It's more havoc, destruction, a, a gentle nudging towards growth. I have one question that I'll ask you, and you can certainly answer it to me, and then I will walk away from you and not bother you anymore this day. I'm loving this itinerary. Absolutely. Did you ask the Great World One for permission to build this structure? Who's that one again? Did you ask the Great World One for permission to build this structure? Is that the toothy thing that Ransom keeps talking about? I don't know if I would put it quite that way. I'm taking that to no. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, thank you. That's all I need to know. Uh, Do you happen to know any good carpet merchants? Carpets are not really of use around here because they tend to rot. Yes, we, we 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 try to keep them out. It's always seemed odd to me. The only cats permitted are the cats that are at the School of Assassins, and it is uh, something that the cats themselves requested that no other cats be permitted in. It's why we check the ships for cats and so on. Well, that's sensible, at least. Yes. Well, I have overstayed my welcome in this conversation, so I will be I feel like now. the itinerary just went completely off the rails. Absolutely. I have to go talk to someone. Disgusting tensions, and now we're talking Goodbye. about interior and He walks away at, at, a, at a brisk pace. So you have also left. People keep doing this. So, Darius, you have been on the road kind of moving from place to place, feeling yep. a, a, an ill wind behind you at your back. Uh -huh. uh, and now you're at this library. I think you clearly yeah, quickly realize that there are sort of three parts to the library itself. There are a good 70% of the building are the stacks that you could just get lost in for days and people do. Uh, and then they have teams that go and look for them. Uh, uh, and then there's a smaller portion that has a beautiful sort of central hall, dining hall. They have a beautiful constellation covered central uh, uh, gathering place. And then they have their kind of quarters and things like that. That seems to be the, the part that the assassins have carved out for themselves. Uh, then there is another part that is the academy uh, that has, you know, maybe a hundred students and a couple of dozen instructors. Uh, it, they kind of kind of keep to themselves. There's some some of the assassins train with them, and there is some back and forth there. But it really is kind of a small university uh in a in a portion of this you've also heard that there are under chambers apparently there are catacombs down below tombs and there's said to be a gateway to hell down there uh and some other things um but i think that's what you would have picked up in this week so what is it that that you would do now that you have some some time to wander. Yeah. Um I think I spent some time getting lost in the stacks. Uh and then take a break from that to go down into the catacombs and talk to rats because like 
nobody knows, you know, what, what a building and, and a you know, place like this is like and what goes on there better than the rats do. Absolutely. Uh, I think that you will, will quickly find uh, there that as you wander through the stacks and things, like almost like clockwork, like every hour, one of these kids, these are clearly the kids from the village that are, are trained to do this. They just happen to walk by as you were wandering. They cross a path, they walk by them, uh, and and they they look in and they nod to you. And and often they'll stop and say, is there anything that you need? Do you need tea or food or anything or directions? Uh, I think I do like ask them for food or, you know, tea occasionally, just uh, more to see what they bring than anything else. Yeah, and they go and they bring this and and you can tell the first couple of times that they're very tense and very worried. And you'll hear a lot of mutters, you know, whispers, things like that, until finally you realize like what they're saying. No, no, not like a vedro. Uh, uh, and they seem to finally realize that that you are not going to yell at them or take a swing at them uh, 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 if they maybe don't get something exactly right. Uh, uh, so they will, they will, will, will come and check with you eventually, uh, uh, after, uh, the, the, the first few times there will be one of the, the, the young people that will show you where there are some bell ropes and things around that if you need anything, they've, they've built these in there and they'll come and, and help you. And if you want someone to come along with, they'll, they'll help you out, uh, and, and, and one of them will finally say, would it be impertinent of me to ask a small question of you, uh, Master Darius? Uh, not at all. Are, are We have heard that you are like Ransom and Threadless and Tassos and the other one. I, I am very unlike them in most ways, <laughs> but uh, I, I think you mean that I, and actually I want I want to look, um, kind of, do any of these kids have any like minor injuries or something? Yeah, in, in fact, several of them are clearly here because uh, they had some debilities. Uh, uh, that kept them from other tasks and some of them have clearly worked hard and injured themselves over time yeah so those have been steadily getting better as they've come to see me <laughs> yeah I, I i i think that that very very quickly you will build a little entourage of people that would would like to help you out not not unlike threadless has has her own little cadre uh, of people that 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 check on you uh um uh, and and they will kind of they clearly accept that you have these divine gifts and things. Uh, and I think it's probably one of them that finally kind of points out where some of the access ways are down. You certainly have seen up in the books and things like that. There is some evidence of rats, uh, uh, though though not too much. Um, uh, but if you go down below, down into the catacombs. Uh, uh, eventually, if you kind of fall out, uh, there will come a a wave of rats that will uh, uh, come in. They are cautious uh, uh, there. Uh, you can see that uh, a number of them uh, have like little clothing and things on them. Uh, 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 they are of varied sizes and like a very different species of rats here. Uh, and uh, the, the lead one will 
uh, approach. He kind of looks back and the others kind of fall back and the, the lead rat uh, will come up and will say, I am Esker Stillwhisker. Nice to meet you. My name is uh, Darius, and I... Greetings, Darius. Just... You have a, a very well-developed accent. Thank you. Um, what do I even... <laughs> I didn't have anything in mind to ask him. I was just like, huh, it seems like fun to talk to rats. Um... Uh, uh, are you amongst the folk that walk above i i i am at least for now uh never mind i won't go into why i don't <laughs> uh fair enough I, you have nothing to explain to us my lord uh thank you i wanted to get an idea of uh who else was inhabiting this place? Uh -huh. You and your people, I see. There are ourselves. Uh, 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 we control many of the down belows. There are some of us, the eaters of knowledge, that make their way up into the stacks to chew and learn uh, from what they chew. Uh, we are friend to the pigeons they are our brethren uh sometimes they assist us in escaping from persecution uh and uh we we uh, uh share knowledge and information with them uh they are of a kin to us uh there are some other animals uh that live one of the towers is raccoonified We do not mix with them that much. Uh, 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 and then, of course, there is the foe. Uh, the foe. Yes. The, the foe. The white-haired terrors. Long, clawed yes, tooth. I see. I've, I've seen a few of those. I yes. That uh, makes sense. The cats are in the service of a dark god of nightmares. And they patrol, they hunt us, they deliver us nightmares. So I must defend my 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 pack and my young against their predations. See, there are entire battles going on here underneath the library. Yes. Uh, what? Ah. Uh, trying to think of a. Uh, okay, so out of character. Basically, I'm trying to figure out what what horrible disaster is likely to befall this place, uh, because you know that's that's what I'm expecting at this point. <laughs> I'm in a place, I've been here for like a day and a half now and nothing terrible has happened yet, but I know something is coming because it always does. The, the, the one thing you are worried about is that uh, like there are two things when you go down into the underground that worries you. One is the water table. Uh, uh, like these buildings, lots of brick and things that have been dropped here uh, uh, and they are magically supported but there is a lot of places where things could sink and slip or layers could give way as the years go on and that sort of makes you a little uh, nervous uh the other one is that there very is clearly a portal to hell down here floods landslides collapses and portal to hell okay yeah uh, <laughs> uh, you will know the portal of hell because you go and there's a, a large room with a big circular hole in it. Uh, and there are 
various sigils and signs and runic devices around and uh, uh, 13 cats seated around the outskirts of it, batting at nightmares. Uh, uh, and there's an undead goddess sort of at the, the bottom of this well. I do like a clearly marked portal to hell. Yes. <laughs> all the all, all the signage requirements. Yeah. Up to date. There is no railing. That is the one thing you will <laughs> note that maybe makes you a little does seem like it's done in imperial measurements. Uh so does that seem uh, uh like a fair answer to your questions there? That does, yeah. Okay. Threadless. No. Yeah. No. Um, I think that what I can do is I can start to use the higher levels of the apotheosis to appear and to try to get some sense of the movement of the dragon. My sense is twofold. Is one, to figure out safer places for people while it's still here but one I want to see if I can figure out how it's moving around its patterns and what it's um what do you say attracted to is it just staying in the capital now or is it moving out around to get more people it is uh and I think this is without a role uh mm -hmm. uh it has clearly like taken over Niharak uh, and it definitely flies out from time to time to baste the surrounding countryside. And it keeps a sort of uh, wide range around there. There is a limit to how far it goes out from Gesnaki. Uh, 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 so you can kind of start to measure that, like uh, in the time that you've had to observe it, you've been able to see it's probably 20, 30 miles outside of the city is the furthest extent of those things. The problem is, is that when it breathes that that miasma, depending on the wind, can get carried to further out places. Okay. So I think that I will start from some distance off, particularly like where there are refugees. Yeah, and this is Gaznaki in in Arwenshaw. This is the the Dragon City. I apologize. Yeah, it's Arwenshaw. Yeah, yeah, it's not Gaznaki. I'm sorry. Um, and so I think what it is is with. Uh, in the further places, I probably will start like wherever there are refugees. I will I will build anything that will aid for those communities. In the meantime, I will sort of start to spend and use my effort on those on a given day, where I will go. I will do this building. I will flash back. You know if that so makes you're kind sense. of measuring as the 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 furthest out extent outside of the the range of this this dragon building defenses there. Mm -hmm. and then then heading uh backwards uh i think that seems reasonable especially because uh you've been trying to kind of keep track of of the refugees there um is the, is there anyone that you're getting to assist you with or do you want to tell tell us about what it looks like in terms of what kind of refuge these people can put together um So the one thing that I can do to this dragon is that if I'm warned in time, I can, like as it comes out, I can start to hit it with bad luck. And mind you, it takes effort for me to do that. Um, and it can make a spirit stay, save. But when I do that, it cuts down on what damage it can cause. Um, but I would be harrying it. So I want to- You would also make sense. yourself a target, right? Exactly, exactly. So so that is why what I am doing is first I'm building safe places, then I'm going to build 
like places where I can watch where it's from. Okay. Let's just have a general well no, I'm sorry, you've got the you've got these abilities. So tell me tell me something about the, the refuges that you built here. So So the first is just probably additional shelter, right? But mm -hmm. then as, as we go, those like, you know, there's shelters and there's like, there's always the, the large one that's for the initial like people coming in and that, that sort of crushed people. But then the smaller, you know, the actual households and stuff like that. Um, it is. You don't have to build the big ones because those people are already dead. Those people have died before we've, I mean, it's been a while that this has been happening. Oh, so okay. what you're really looking at is your scale is a little bit at, at that second part of that, because you're okay. trying to find the people who've managed to survive or the people that are at those outskirts. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yes. Okay. So yes. Um, okay. Um, so yes, I will build those things. I probably will buy. Will actually build them like safety things, like where they can go underground and move further along. So I probably will create sets of roads and things that are. Or shelters. Ansaring says these are just going to break. Why? They, they'll be broken. Eventually, the dragon will break them. Break. So I don't know why you're building them. No, he's rebuilding them. If they keep them alive long enough to get away, that's what's important. I mean, on Sunday, everyone dies. Mm -hmm. Yes. But in the meantime, before that, they live. And that is when all the productive things happen. Just seems very uh, not right. That it's going to break? No, breaking is the natural order of things. Destruction is the natural order of the world. It seems that you are fighting against that, which doesn't seem right. It'd be much easier if we were just to destroy everything. Just... You have that look on your face that says that what I have said is is perhaps incorrect. I would say that there are people that would reach the end of their days and agree with you, but perhaps more of them that would not. And she stops and she goes, at some point on Sonic, we'll be separated. But until we are, I would like to spend time with you. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's take our first break here. Let's uh, take 10 and then we're going to come back and maybe we're going to do some more cross cross character things here. So we take up again, and I would like to kind of cross routes. Uh, have you each call a scene with another PC? Maybe talking about what you want to be doing or finding out more about them, or maybe even wrapping in some NPCs into this to kind of maybe start to draw things together before we 
maybe have a full gathering of the the table in this. Uh, so uh, uh, let's start with uh, uh, Evedro or or Devi, kind of same order we okay. just did, and. Uh, who do you want to talk to? You've had a conversation with Ransom, or rather, or or Devi has. Uh, does Evedra want to have a conversation with with Ransom, or do you want to have a conversation with one of the other PCs, or other PCs and and one or more NPCs? Um, I. Uh, I'm game for anything, so if anyone has any other ideas, but I was wondering if maybe um, or Devi goes to meet Darius, because I believe Darius only got to meet Ivedro last time. So I, I like the idea that that we see Darius coming up from the crypts having spotted the the gate to hell uh uh it's late uh uh you've missed uh dinner though uh when you come up uh you will see someone who looks a little like professor ifedro like vaguely you would say that right like you like may, maybe in the same family like second cousins. Second cousins. Um, and or, or definitely you will see Darius. Are you new here? Yes. Uh, very new. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Darius. I am or Devi. It's possible that you met my brother, Evedro. But I did. He immediately tried to put me Recruit in charge him. of teaching medicine, which yeah, he's... I think maybe not the greatest uh, decision. I'm sure you are very competent. And I just want to reassure you that his heart was in the right place. He, um, he is, uh, always puts his students second after himself, of course. Um, but, um, but sometimes he can come on, uh, a little, a little strong and I, I, I'm not going to apologize for him. That's just who he is, but, um, it's just something that you should, you should know if you're going to spend any it's time with me, impression. with us, with him. So, uh, or Devi, uh, what, uh, what, what do you do here? I mostly clean up Evedra's mess. <laughs> I can um, imagine that takes most of your time. It's 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 a good thing we're not really in the same place at the same time. It makes it makes it a little a little easier um, to do that. Um, you can see you can think of me as sort of the academy's counselor. I you know I like listening to people and asking them lots of questions and. You know, making sure that they're um, uh, they they have everything they need um, in order to complete their their studies. Oh, uh, what I what have see. what have you learned since you've been here? Well, I've I've been uh, trying to learn the lay of the land. Uh, um, Looking through some of the, well, a very small percentage of the stacks, uh, met some of the assistants in the library, uh, had a discussion with the rats, um, admired your lovely portal to hell, uh, and um, that's about as far as I've got so far. There is a lot here. There, there is quite a lot. It's, it's possible that you'll be drawn into some of the um 
other aspects, other other things that we, other activities that we have uh, throughout the world, and not just here at the academy. Um, is there anything in particular at the in the world at the moment that you feel compelled to look at to deal with? Uh not in particular at the moment. I I have to say this. Um, the longest I've been in a place without uh, some natural, supernatural, or man-made disaster occurring uh, has been about a week. And how long have you been here so far? Two days. All right. Well, there's still time. <laughs> but look. I don't think, I don't believe I'm bringing these I. I seem to be drawn to places before these things happen i am not sure how it's not something i'm doing intentionally but it does seem to happen look if i'm honest something crazy is happening here every day so the fact that it's been two days and nothing crazy has happened suggests to me that maybe just maybe you're bringing some some much needed quiet uh and, and reflection time if so, that would be that, that would be a good thing. I'm just saying that I will probably feel drawn to a place because something terrible is about to happen there. But at the moment, I'm not, I don't have a particular place uh, calling to me. I see. Well, it's interesting. Or maybe it's, too many. It's, it's, it's interesting it's taking you so long to get here because there's always something something happening here. <laughs> Is there any aspect of the academy that you want to know more about? Any and to, is your touring complete? Is there anything I can show you? Uh, well, maybe I should. Uh, you say that that people here are often drawn into things. Other, uh, maybe I should tag along for some of them. See how you do it. It's got to be better than haphazardly showing up in a place, having something terrible happen, and then trying to help out. It's very generous of you to think that we've got our act together a bit more. Almost have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that feels like scene. Uh, Captain Ransom. Well, I honestly was thinking of Darius as well. Um, but uh, I don't know. I might can expand that a bit. Um, I was thinking also of having um, uh, LaShawn. That's her name, isn't it? I hate that I can't remember my own girlfriend's name. Leisha. Uh, Leisha? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Present as well. Um but uh and uh no threadless if you'd like to go i'm i'm going to sh invite darius to go and see the ship anyone could come if they're interested um so i think probably at say breakfast since we tend to get together to discuss things uh periodically say a breakfast i will well, Darius, what uh, what plans do you have for the day? Nothing pressing. Well, uh, you've been cooped up in this old library far too long. I think that it would be beneficial for you to see something a bit more beautiful than just Old walls, books, and students. Uh, my friend Leisha and I were going to uh, go and visit the Sea Wing. And I'll look about to and anyone who feels like getting a bit of spray in their hair. Feel free to come along. It's been too long since we've been out. Would you care to go, Darius? Uh, yes, of course. That sounds uh, 
you're right that sounds much more pleasant <laughs> good and i think we kind of cut uh out to uh a, a group heading down to the, the 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 town i think when you came in you saw a, a splendid vessel there uh and uh uh when you come down uh, uh you will see this is where you are headed this time darius you will see a figure kind of stand up and uncurl itself that was slumbering on the deck about 13 feet tall blue skin uh and uh you'll see this giant uh essentially step kind of from ship to dock and then like pull his legs together to pull the the boat closer and and uh uh stand up and and salute and uh captain if it's a spark so we ready to set sail uh at, at any time at any day at any moment we are ready sir that's what i like to hear um the sea wing has a sort of catamaran set up. It's got a very, you know, a, a full ship middle, but there's kind of a big set on either side, and it, the sails kind of go across to that. It's if you ever play any or look at any Warhammer, it looks a lot like the elven ships from Warhammer Fantasy. But uh, uh, as we come aboard, uh, uh, Mister Butters probably comes and I salute. You may feel the presence of the. This is my my shrine. This is, uh, my holy place. It got all dedicated to, um, and uh, as we get aboard, we cast off, and almost miraculously, a wind comes up perfectly to begin taking us out, um. There are birds flying all around the sea wing as she uh, picks up speed. And even though there are some pretty treacherous and when you came into port, a pilot had to lead you through these dangerous currents, the sea wing just cuts straight through. Um, And uh, what do you think? impressive thank you she's much like my heart and soul i've never been on a ship this fast mm, and probably never will be again <laughs> ah, come, come 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 you should uh, you should get to the tops and i will kind of motion for you to climb up as I very quickly just did -did 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 straight up the rigging to the top mast. Are you eager to follow? <laughs> uh, I got a little hesitant <laughs> to follow. <laughs> but I do. Not nearly at that with that speed or agility. When you, when can... you, when you follow and get to the top, you will see that there, of course, there is a, a lookout and you will see that there is a very very uh uh a uh, large parrot that is up there that will greet ransom uh and then will turn and greet you not doing it but imagine that this is this this parrot now has the voice of a well-trained bbc announcer uh uh uh, uh, uh ransom has put a lot of effort and energy into uh, working on the language centers of this particular parrot, and it speaks with, it is good to see you. We are welcoming you here to our ship. Uh, this is Captain Cookie. Darius, Darius, Captain Cookie. Not really a captain, but it is an honorary title, and I appreciate it. <laughs> well, we know who really runs the ship. It's this guy here. <laughs> but, uh, and as we start scooting through, I say you know from up here the horizon is oh it is a magnificent view but uh there is a better one to see the ship would you care to indulge that 
Done well so far. All right. Uh, take my hand a moment. And I will do that. And the two of us transform into great sea albatross. <laughs> As we swirl up. Have you ever flown before, Darius? No. No, this this is new. This is uh this is new. <laughs> it is it's like kind of wobbling on the wind a bit, you know, like <laughs> clearly have not used to having wings. It is the sea wing is a little like flying while still attached to the sea, but nothing is quite like taking to the air itself. It's no, an adventure. You can, you can see so far. It's beautiful, like, no? It is. It is beautiful. I imagine it's hard to take your your uh, normal form after this after a while of this. Uh, well, the bird is always within me, but it's mm, I long for the ship deck beneath me as well. It's it's a a push pull, as it were. There are great joys to be found in the powers we have, Darius. I know that you've spoken as though they have been difficult on you so far. Uh, I think that my powers are controlling me. Mm. I'm not controlling them. I would like to learn how to change that. Then we will, we will help you do that. Step one is Finding joy within your powers. Taking that power to yourself and reveling in it. It is... There's a lot of responsibility in who we become. But that doesn't mean we can't find our own place within it. It brings us joy. I'll try that. You have any any need? There's anything I can do to help you? You've come here with an open heart, seeking help, and I am happy to give it. Uh, mm. And the same to you. If you have, uh, well, if you have any need for powers I have. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sure that they are going to come hand. in very handy. There's one more thing. Uh, come, let's circle down. As we circle back in the light, I'll transform us. It is beautiful in the air, and it is beautiful on the sea. But there's a sight that only the sea wing can give you. Mr. Butters! Prepare to descend. As you say, Captain, uh, the butters will shout to people and they will gather themselves together, pull things in, drop the sails, uh, start rope ripping things up. And uh, uh, after a, a good minute, butters will say, we are ready to dive, sir. <laughs> dive? What? What? What do you mean, dive? <laughs> Descend! <laughs> and the sea wing passes beneath the waves. Uh, and there is a bubble that forms around the vessel, and it goes underneath the waves, and it's not deep. It is shallow. The water is still is going over the bubble, but the ship is sailing like just like five feet below the top of the water. 
uh, and going along and to get that weird light and coloration uh, around and it moves at a steady clip. And I've called and we have dolphins and there's probably a whale or two that are moving around and playing in the water about us. I, I don't think Daria says anything. It's just like staring at it in utter terror, waiting for the bubble to collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Flying, got used to it in a hurry. Underwater is way scarier. And I think I'm just giddy with joy and laughing, and I kind of put my arm around Leisha as uh, as we look out at the uh, at my sea friends enjoying themselves, and we take a little cruise before we head back. Nice. I will cut there. Ah, uh, Tassos. What else are you up to? Um, or do you want me to throw something at you? Uh, I think I'd like to go talk to Ventro. Okay. Oh. Can't catch him uh, during the day. Ventro. Uh. How is your current relationship, Evedro, not or Dabby, but Evedro, with uh, Tanusia? Um, I think we're, uh, I mean, she was always a little bit of a space case. So I think I'm super awkward around her. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's because um, I have to leave. I don't think you've told her that yet. Uh, and I, I do think, she cares. yeah, yeah. When, when you come in, when Professor uh, Tassos, you see Evedra there and Tunisia is there and she is looking through a book and she's saying, now this would be a really lovely way to redo this room. Do you see? This is really, I really like how this would be. It has a kind of a pearl look to it. And then she'll kind of stop. Of your companions, uh, Tassos is probably the one that she is most wary of. And she will kind of shut her book when she says Tassos come in. And she will say, Tassos? I will say, Tassos, I am so glad to see you. Ah. Well, I see that I'm too late to discuss interior decoration. Well, that may we, be for the best. We will we will talk later, Evedro? Uh yeah. We definitely will. Absolutely. I will take my leave. You you don't have to go. You can you can No stay no no or, no no. It's okay. Or you, go. Do, you do your little god thing. We could talk about gloss finishes. What I mean, if you want to go, you can go. If you want to stay, you can stay. It's does it's fine either way. I I, I will see you later. Tassos. Tanusha. She will waft out through the doorway. That much light in one room is just going to overwhelm people. I don't care. I because that's healthy. I yeah. I, healthy. I I, I uh, my head is in a hundred different places right now. Um, I'm supposed to be the god of knowledge, and I don't even know what I'm supposed to do about really anything anymore. Oh, that seems very what. What do you mean you don't know? I thought you couldn't not know. I mean, I know things about the world, and I know I know everything, but I don't know this. Hmm. That seems to like a problem. I'm not used to having problems.
anyway you that came i acknowledge <laughs> <laughs> um you came to see me what can i do for you uh well i came to see you about knowledge that i'm fairly certain you don't have yeah try me I was just checking in to see if you'd made any progress on finding anything out about the Dark Sower. Oh, gosh. That, was, that has been on my to-do list. It has been. Signs or omens or people running screaming from volcanoes saying, Oh my gosh, he sowed such darkness. Um, I, I don't know. Well, would I know anything about it? Gosh, uh, is that something that you want to have a vision of some kind from, or a question you want to ask? I guess this is the thing that's still at large. We don't know where it is. is that's that correct. Yeah, yeah. Um. I think, uh, hang on, just look at my gifts here. So I, I wonder if I could use Disclose the Flaw, which would, assuming it is either a creature or institution, and know its current weaknesses, or um, get an answer to any question, provide the truth is not being intentionally concealed. So I could simply ask. The, the question I think is more of a, a appropriate one because I think for the disclosure of law, we need to have them present for them to be a target. Okay, okay. Uh, my question then is where is the dark forest thing? I think you will see a vision of a woods uh, uh, and you will see that the woods goes on and falls out of the world as you see it bleed out into another place uh you will see beasts roaming around and you will realize that this forest has bleeds up into a night road uh, and beyond it you will see that there is a set of trees that are there uh, that you can tell that they are something transformed into these trees uh, and you will see a shape moving amongst that dark forest of these trees uh, uh, and then I think it this shape stops and turns and begins to to look at you with your vision there and begins to to walk towards you and says do you want to come to me Ivedro I could bring you here to me we have met before If you want me, just come and say, and I will bring you to me. Look, I got a lot going on right now. <laughs> but I know someone who does want to see. I'll let them know. You do that. Farewell, Pedro. Is this any night road or is this a specific night road? I think you can tell 
that you are in the northern most portion of this like island you are north of of uh rixos like in those woods that lie there right. would be to the west of the banyan looms i say to tassos i've got some good news and i've got some bad news but for you it's all good news <laughs> that is how i try to live my life <laughs> You know how we have that portal to hell in the basement? Yes, where our castle bar is. Right. I know it's one of your favorite places on this island. There is another one. And I believe your friends, the, not your friends, but the darkness is there. It is our journey, but for us, it will be a, no problem. Tell what it was up to, what its plans are, or it's touched the world. Um, I didn't stick around to find out. Um, and it did want to chat with me, and I was like, "Look, I don't want to be a middleman here." So, no, I didn't find anything. Up. I can ask. I wanted to talk to you. It did. It was. It was very particular that it wanted to talk to me. And you didn't talk to us. I needed to get back here to tell you what was going on. I didn't want to leave you hanging. I'm trying to be a better friend. That I, I suppose I appreciate not having to sit through the anxiety of anticipation. See, it's... Really? So just down a night road? Through a forest? Yeah. That's very specific. So how is going up, uh, how's it going opening up the hospital wing? Medical school, school, if you got the whole hierarchy figured out yet? I mean, it's ready for um, faculty, but um, the person who showed up, who I thought would be perfect for it, has decided that they don't necessarily want to uh, embrace uh, academia. Oh, Darius isn't going to be taking over the teaching position? Um, not immediately, but... Strange. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep working on them. I felt like you made a strong offer. I made an offer, yeah. This may be a negotiation tactic. You'll wear them down. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm sticking around here. Uh, I've just been... Um, I've just chosen to accept a sabbatical. Is that... A good thing? I think it's long overdue. So would you go stare at things and make pictures of them? Or read books? You already read books. I don't need to we read travel, books. We travel a lot already. As concerned as you are about this uh, dark forest elemental, I am concerned about um, this rival pantheon. Oh, well, should we go murder them so you can worry about it less? Well, it seems like there's potentially already a solution, um, which we have not discussed as a group. And um, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can talk about our strategy there. Um, frankly, Getting married is not something that I had planned for myself, but it would certainly get me out of a difficult situation with Deluja. So it may be extreme, 
on my part. Oh, well, congratulations. Well, I'm not saying I've committed to anything just yet. As your best man, we should talk about your <laughs> plans for the wedding. I did. I was thinking kind of a um, uh, nightmare slash surreal theme um, for the reception. So you were definitely I have so many ideas. I knew I could count on you. And I think we'll cut there uh, at that scene. Uh, Darius, I would like to put you in a, a, a scene with one of the other PCs here. You've had this, this time with Captain Ransom. You've uh, met with Ordefi. Uh, do you want to talk to one of them again? Or do you want to talk to Threadless or Hassos? Uh... I yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk to Threadless yet. I um Threadless, where do you think that Darius would would find you or cross paths with you? Oh no, Darius has been um uh, in the library. Um and certainly if you go down there, since you've got the, the little group that follow you and I have my little cadre, I assume that at some point we run into each other. Um, you get the thing that uh, one of the things is is uh, the the folks that hang around Threadless all have bicycles to get around the library, um, and it, it's mostly that she just hasn't met the other ones that they don't have library or they don't have bicycles <laughs> and that sort of thing, but they don't realize it. I mean, she just doesn't know how many people there are, so but. So I assume that's how we run into each other is, you know, uh, your so band these, like, of library of, of interns or whatever runs are... into my band of urchins, you know. So. Are, are standing there going, you know, I, hey, look, hey, look, I can, I can, I can walk without a limp now. Well, I have a bicycle. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my bicycle has a bell on it. Yeah. So that's a... <laughs> yeah. So I, I think. She probably comes around the corner and she sees you and she goes, oh, Darius. Oh, are you lost? No, I just. Uh, it's hard to pick where to start. It is. Um, she goes, I always think you should start with tea. Why don't you follow me to the cafeteria? Uh, all right. Do you want a bike or do you want to ride? Wait, are, are you riding something other than a bike? I, I see that there. I can give you a ride on my bike or it, it, she sort of steps and she goes, or oh, if you know how to ride one, I can make one for you. I do not, but I would like to learn. Okay, and she'll hand you her bike, and she goes. Many kinds of transportation today. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I think that's what it is. Is she'll hand you her bike, and she'll go. Okay, guys, show my, show how to ride it. Okay, um, and she'll go. Who else needs bikes? And she gets the kids all lined up. <laughs> and then you'll see her kind of climb way up into like at the sort of further up walls and there's clearly panels up there and she pulls materials down from there and then she comes down and she is a god of making and she does sort of change the materials into what she needs but there's clearly like lots and lots of stuff up there that she makes use of she goes the bikes were the library's go. idea they seem extremely practical uh have they were the library's idea you said mm -hmm. i was trying to figure out um a way to move around the library um i thought there must be some sort of transportation device um and then it just gave me one of these and i'm like yep that'll do it so <laughs> don't have to have anything fancy and magical so seem like they would have uh, a lot of a lot of applications uh in a lot of places 
and much less terrifying than traveling underwater. So this is this is oh, crash into a wall, you know. <laughs> I see, uh, I see certain steps. You're on the ship. Yes, yes, the ship that goes underwater. Mm -hmm. It's good for hiding from uh, storm giant pirates. Yes, you're you're right. That uh, I could see how it would be. So you seem like a very sensible god. Sort of glad that you're here. Um, I'm... Some of us are not as I should say rooted to the reality of people's lives. Sometimes I it makes getting about that done complicated. I was wondering about that. Is that typical? Do do gods develop? Uh, Every god sees the world strangeness in, a different way. in that way. <laughs> Every god sees the world in a different way, and because I cannot speak to how each of my fellows exactly sees the world. Certainly, my way is different than theirs. But some of them, I have more trouble communicating to their paradigm. I think that's the word for it. And Vedro used that one time when we were having a circular conversation, and he couldn't quite grasp what I was saying, and I couldn't grasp what he was saying. So. I, I can understand what you're saying, I think. Uh... It may be because I had spent almost all of my life as uh, just a person. <laughs> yes, that helps a lot when you conceive of yourself that way. And she sort of stops and says, and you're good at healing? Yes, that's... Um seems to be my main skill mm. i have the purview of fertility so we probably could work to good effect together at times when needed that yeah and, and not that i'm um suggesting anything in particular um, don't misunderstand me um i wasn't I, she sort of stops and says it would be good for the people that we protect no, I see that. I see that. <laughs> and uh, she sort of will take the last bike that she's just made. She's made these rapidly, like while she's talking to you. Uh huh. And um, and she'll she'll get on and she'll go. Okay, you feeling like you could do this? Pretty steady. Uh, Kevin, everything else I've done today. This should be easy. All right, then of follow course, me. I promptly, like, <laughs> run into a door frame. <laughs> but be fine, you're a god. <laughs> I don't think it's even possible, and it won't be. So, um, yeah, and she will take you to the the cafeteria. Uh, for the most part, she just seems satisfied, like, like sort of glad that you're just kind of more regular um uh -huh. in that sense and and she's like well so you were in um you saw the, the undead dragon i got a brief glimpse of it and it goes um, i don't know if i can kill it but i can harry it it can make it worth its while to leave that's my plan right it makes it someone else's problem. But once I learn enough about it, then I can follow up. Could it be trapped? Instead of making it leave, contain it? She sort of thinks about it. She goes, it would be, but it would have to be with magics of its own kind. 
because it can eat away at anything that depends on on life. Hmm. That's a thing. I mean, I build things. Ah, but I can't build magical things. I she kind of stops and goes, I'm still thinking about it. It could be trapped, it could be sent away. But the whole thing is about making it it's a tough one. It has all the time in the world. It's undead. It's not like you can starve it. It's not like you can weaken it by trapping mm. it away. So it's a problem. It's a strange engine and death. It's not one I'm familiar with. Uh, uh, and she sort of stops and goes, uh, I don't dead know or it's, not dead is yeah. pretty much the extent yeah. of my experience. <laughs> and, and death is outside of that. Yes. I'm working on it. Well, if, if you come up with that idea, I'll be happy to help. I that saw, could be useful. I didn't see it much, but I saw what it did. Okay. And she kind of stops and goes, then I might have to call upon you since I'm trying to help the people too. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, it would be nice. It, it, it'll be nice to know before I get there what kind of disaster is going to happen. All right, I will make sure to take a complete accounting. That feels like a scene. Threadless, we're gonna finish up with you. Uh, what person would you like to interact with here? What scene would you like to call here? That is a good question. Uh, let's see here. You'd think if I knew it, but I have thought about a thing and now it is not as relevant. So let me go. Um, you know. I think I'm going to go and talk to Hosk. Okay. Do you want to wrap a PC in with that? Or do you just want to interact with an NPC on this? I think I want to just talk to Hosk at this okay. moment. You can go down uh, the... Trade is more brisk here than it has been. Uh, uh, it does require them some more stages, of course, because they do have to have pilots to guide people in uh, a bit more. Uh, but we've got the the trade uh, that's coming from the north, uh, from Lonsena, uh, uh, and you know from other places like Kajafir and uh, Shansent and things. Uh, uh, and further away, uh, Gorn, even all the other uh, uh, islands, and you know, various people that will, will recognize you uh, as you head down there. And uh, Hosk is there, and he looks maybe a little more pensive than usual. And but but he will come and, and greet you, and he will say, uh, Mr. Stratus, uh, how are you today? I am fine. She sort of stops and says, I have been remiss. After the attack upon Basala, I did a lot of trying to make things good after the problems and trying to prevent damage, but I have not come back to speak to you about what else might be needed. Quite frankly, you did uh, 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 an amazing job of rebuilding and adding on to the bulwarks. You could just, I don't think we could ask for anything more from, from you 
with your your gifts and i assure you were there to be something uh, uh, i saw how easily you did those things and i would not i would not hesitate were there to be a, a sufficient need i would not hesitate to come and see you i i noticed you didn't help out with the most recent project though project was that she she seems a little like like she's trying not to be offended <laughs> um well, let let's walk over here to the uh edge of the 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 city over here all right i think we'll walk you out to the edge uh, uh, uh again most of the good parts of the city have been been you know built up in but there's some questionable land uh uh, uh oh, you know clearly deliberately built a little bit away uh with some platforms and you will see someone has built a dark and brooding uh temple on stilts here in this stilt city it says uh master tassos built a thing here i'm going to build a thing here too it's going to be a sign that says enter at your own risk is that is going to fall over <laughs> I, 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 it's structurally it, it is fairly sound he did a a decent job with it for someone who uh, this is clearly not their first profession, uh, but they they have skills, and they clearly drew on their native talents. It's an eyesore. It, it, the the thing that is somewhat upsetting, besides its very nature and 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 and, and exactly. base essence, one, one must remember it yes. is. It, it, is that he didn't ask anyone if he could do this mm. in terms of would it be all right if I built a new building onto your town? But given how much you and your companions have have helped us and generated, I think we it would be rude of me to even suggest that that would be an issue. Would it be rude? It would be. It would be. No, mm -hmm. you, you all have done so much that that this is this is a small thing. But I think the thing that we need to do is talk to Evedro, because I think that he is a person that could put into place the amount of bureaucracy that would probably dissuade any any one of us from going forward without asking permission. It's more that he did not consult with. Uh, with 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 the the crocodile. Oh, Ransom told me that this is their place. Yes, yes, it is. Are, are you their human avatar? No, but you speak not to in them? that sense. There is no human avatar. Uh, I am. I think the best way to put it is uh the negotiator uh the the organizer uh the selector of the unwary that 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 sounds like a huge responsibility Haas. There, i will say that the crocodiles have done very well by us uh, over the many years and i have endeavored to only push over the side the most annoying of people who visit us uh, uh, or most offensive. Yes. Of those that are pushable. Of those that are pushable, yes. yes. Understood. They, 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 they ask for only one or two a year and it has seemed a small price to pay uh, for the blessings that they, they give to us and the protection they provide. Oh, well, that seemed reasonable. I I would not like those responsibilities myself, but he says he says 
no one gets sick here. There are no bugs. We do not have to worry about about mosquitoes or vermin or anything You're like right. that. We are kept clean and cleared. The place itself is kind to us. Well, thank you for showing me this. It kind of looks at it. Principally, has anyone been to visit? There are a few people who have come uh, 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 to it, uh, uh, who have arrived from the mainland. Huh? Uh, 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 come here to to sleep there. Um, oh. They apparently have had some nightmares that they could not wrestle with. I, but I think they mean literally. Well, yeah, I guess that would be the place where, well, I don't know, it was Tasso was causing that or helping with. It's always very hard to tell what Tasso is. It's, it's, like an Ouroboros. Oh. Milady, if you have not the, the keen wit to understand Tassos, then I can only say that I have no idea. I, I will check in with him to see if there's anything that he needs. If I might put in a request. Yes. That he should go and ask. That maybe, maybe if, if Ransom would go and speak to the crocodile before Ooh. this gets to be a problem. That's a good idea. Uh, uh, there have been... Probably better Ransom than Assos, yeah. Those are your words? Not mine. <laughs> Just I saying. Them. I said the nod. <laughs> and if ever I say the wrong words, you just wait and I'll keep on trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was there anything good. else that you needed, Treadless, no. you came down here for? I just realized that I had done a bunch of things and then run off, and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Legend has it that that is the way of the gods. It is, and I do try to fight it. <laughs> it is the way of gods and kings. I do not like the kings. Those I will fight. Uh, so let's cut to the uh, either light later in the day or the, the next day uh, when uh, the, 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 the group is gathered there at, at breakfast. And uh you will see uh, uh temple come in Ooh. and uh just to remind you temple is the person who is the head of the ochre assassins uh she's the one who's missing an eye but has the eyes drawn in her palm um, you notice that throughout this this week that that Darius has been there, that she has kept herself away from Darius, like sat at the other end of the table, or 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 whatnot. Like she seems worried about that, uh, but she will come in, uh, and she has with her uh, a. Uh, a man and uh, a woman uh, who uh, look alike uh, and he, he will come in and I think it will take uh, those of you who know them a second to realize uh, that this is Dalak and Dala but they look about 10 years older than they did the last time that you saw them. And uh, 
hand. Temple will say, and look at very specifically at Tassos and Ransom and this, and will say, uh, we found these two on the walk up. Uh, they claim to be Dala and Dalak, your children, Tassos? Do they feel like them? I think that that it takes a bit for you to concentrate, but you will definitely get the the feeling of that seed within them. Uh, but definitely more powerful generally than they were before. They're telling the truth. Though they seem to have taken a rather long road to get here. Are you two all right? Dala will say yes and no. We are sorry. You are back. Yes. That is Why enough. Are you... Why are you sorry? We should have returned earlier. From the look of things, uh, I think you did. No. We have been gone a decade. That is what the angels are doing in that place. They are making time run faster? They are changing the flow of time there and they are building their their legions. This is very dangerous. Um, we have worked hard to keep the seed damped down within us, Tassos. But I do not know how much longer my brother and I can hold out. Thing is far from here. We should have time to figure out something. Hm. You will find a solution, we hope, before we are consumed. Yeah, so I can... I can give time if that would help. Anything you can do to help? Um, uh, for now, perhaps uh, a chance for you to rest without this burden. Um, if you will allow me. We do not rest, we do not sleep. No, but you will not have to suffer for a bit. If you will trust me, take my hands. Should we trust him, Master Tassos? You can trust Ransom. Then we will trust him. I take their hands and they disappear up and fall into stasis. Okay. And you will be cut off from them, Tassus. You'll feel that, that 
snip as your awareness of them vanishes. This it doesn't give much opportunity to save them, but it is some time where the whatever it is is not attempting to, to consume them, but we what must we do? What what is happening here, Tasus? I don't know. Gesnia is <laughs> going through stranger times than we thought. No, the seed. What's going on with the seed? It's stronger, it's grown. It feels on the verge of something. This is what they've been carrying since the Dark Forest placed it within them. I thought you said that you were going to handle it. Well, yes, but then unfortunately it slipped my mind for about ten years, apparently. So what is it that we're going to do to handle it? I still don't understand what it is. Thing is focused elsewhere. I mean, we know it's a seed, and we know that it's planted to go off and set the darkness otherwise, right? It has done strange things. I don't know what may happen. Any that, <clears throat> any that we saw come to fruition had done so in a matter of months, a year? They've withstood it now far longer. But if we cannot sever the connection, then we must look to face that which controls it. Evedro, is there something you could do with, with research and finding out more of what is within them? Sure. Yes, that sounds like something I can do. Um, uh, um. Evedro, I also have the words of fertility. I can look at ways of if it is, in fact, more of a literal seed, since it does come from a jungle, I might be able to slow it down. Perhaps, Darius, you can provide some fortitude to the twins once they return out. Is, does that fall into, perhaps, your abilities? Um, I... I will find out by the time uh, by the time they we I think there must be a way. Let me pause here and talk the meta right now, if I may. We've got two sort of tracks going off from what we've set up here. On the one hand, this their aging has been caused by the angel. And you know that the angels are there, and this is likely related to what Evedro found out, that they are uh, using that place to, how do I best put this, uh, to teach people, to teach uh, sorcery to humans. Mm -hmm. uh, what that involves... You're not entirely sure yet, but that's what's going on. Uh, and 
The other person who was sent there, Nuanlo, has not yet come back. So that's that's one thing is dealing with that that demon city. Other one is dealing with this uh, 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 essentially uh, darkness uh, from the from the this last uh, uh, evil elemental darkness of the the woods, which you've seen it around and about, but now. Professor Vedro has kind of found a place where it is more active and present and tied to a night road, uh, which is something that Tassos knew from before, had found the connection, had had talked to that thing through the night road as well. So I think that's sort of the two directions that you have to go like game-wise. Either one is good. Uh, and dramatically, either one is the one we will lean into and will be the right choice. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, that in absolute seriousness. So the question is, which storyline are people more interested in us resolving before the other one? Gotcha. Uh, uh, are y'all more interested in taking care of this, this uh, angel horde and uh, sorcerer training army? Or uh, going after this dark loam of the earth, uh, uh, evil elemental. What do folks think? We've got a potentially horde of sorcerers on our <laughs> doorstep, but that doesn't mean that getting rid of that dark loam might not be a prudent first step before we deal with them i i am open for either okay. i think both sound fascinating open for either uh, uh professor Vedro thoughts uh dan the player is interested in either Vedro seemed to be leaning more towards the um uh the fallen angel okay stuff uh threadless hmm. They're both bombs waiting to go off. And uh, yeah, um, probably, probably the sorcerers, the, the, the horrible angels. Angels are always horrible. Yes, the angels <laughs> must be brought down. Tassos, Darius, would you be okay if we started with the, the angel as the next step? Is that yeah. okay? You do have Nuanlo on that as a as a point of interest and something that you've already started on, and so we can can work from that. Uh, plus, you've already la laid some of the groundwork to extend your influence out there. So, let's assume that as kind of be our starting point. Next time uh, is we're going to start kind of with that out there, finding the shape of it, uh, and figuring out how you're going to c conflict with them. Uh, which is the first chance to kind of get to some roles uh, and to some badass uh, uh, angel punching, uh, which I always appreciate in uh, these kinds of games. Uh, uh, devil wrestling and uh, angel punching. Okay. Well, can I ask a question real quick? Absolutely. Um, since other people have kind of investigated it, can you give just kind of a quick, the cursory of what what we know of this angel Threat. Is it okay. one city or is it the entirety so, of that land? So it is one city. Uh, what you know is is you met the representatives and it became clear to you that there were some some th hanky things going on. And you realized that Niharik, which is sort of the capital of Gesnia there, has, has been taken over. Uh, and that there is definitely a hierarchy of angels that are are in charge, and they have now been using their powers to manipulate time. Some, of course, just found that out today, uh, uh, and extend their influence. And it seems like the thing I found out last time was that they that part of what they're doing is drawing in mortals and teaching them very dangerous magics. Mm -hmm. Don't know much beyond that about what, why they're doing that or what the structure is. That That's a whole set of questions there. Part of the reason that you knew about them is because it's also very clear that 
they probably were the ones that got the dragon to attack Geznaki. Okay. Uh, uh, that was something that you had figured out before was that somebody had done some stuff to draw and activate that dragon to attack there. And in particular, when those people came to you from Gesnia to say, hey, yeah, you can stay here. You you know, this island you're on is fine. They said, but don't mess around with Arwen Shaw. Clearly, we would like Arwen Shaw to fall. Okay. Does that feel like a, a reasonable summary? That and, does. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, I don't care about the royalty of Arwen Shaw. I care <laughs> about the people of Arwen Shaw, right. if that makes any sense. Yeah. So there's my a, there's thing a is lot of, to... of royalist nobles, like, no, let's just cut off all the hydra heads. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's do, let's plan on that for uh, next session, Does that, if that seems cool with everybody. Uh, I would like to do a quick uh, stars and wishes. Uh, uh, if I could, uh, can I start with you, Professor Vedro? Of course. Uh, that was cool. Um, I let's see. I really enjoyed um, Tapsos um, Shrine construction project. Um, is Patrick? Your descriptions are always very vivid and i always appreciate lol reluctant cats so um <laughs> i found it, found it delightful and uh on brand all around so those are my stars okay. uh wishes um these first two episodes have been good it's been good to kind of reconnect with the characters and get up speed but i am definitely excited for some action next okay. time so absolutely you want to have some action so we can see you roll really badly? <laughs> That's on brand for Avedro. So I, I will, will, though hopefully that 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 luck has 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 changed. Uh we will see. Uh 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 Captain Ransom. Uh, this was a neat session in a lot of ways, uh, because I think everybody did cool things and it was you know, if it's a TV show, it's one of those getting to know a place and people and what's you know, it's a building episode. And that was really cool to see. I liked our interactions mm -hmm. with folks. I love the chance, uh, I always love the chance to see Ransom and Ordevi. Their old friendship feels very real and lived in and yeah. it's just always so fun. Um, I also <laughs> Loved the tribe built. That's just hilarious. Um, I enjoyed. Um, uh, I enjoyed Darius getting out there and kind of dealing with lots of people and learning a bit about us and kind of us getting to see ourselves through new eyes is kind of cool. There's something really neat with that, and Darius is starting to, you know. Ethan, you're you're getting the character together in a way that's starting to become very real, and I I like that. I love that. And uh, Bradley, you were delightful all the way through, but I loved you dealing with the mayor and sort of oh, why no, no, I didn't know that, and oh, that does not look safe. <laughs> Um, but all around, everybody was really good, really, really good. Um, for wishes, um, I do want to kind of continue on the journey of uh spreading religion, and you know that in some ways that means I would like to have opportunities to go and see other, like go over to the place we've sort of I hate the word call it, but our new lands where we have faiths as well. But that's not an immediate for next time. Sure. For next time, I'm really looking forward to us standing up to what clearly is not good. It's it's good to have enemy foes. And maybe since we are supposed to be kind of a united pantheon, 
maybe seeing our other group helping us, or at least talking with them and seeing their thought, because eventually we're going to have to be a united pantheon. Yeah, there is the the the, the people of of Shansen. We might work mm. out how to how to manage that. I think that's reasonable. Uh, Tassos. Uh, yeah, this was this was interesting. Um, I I liked getting to hang out with uh, Avedro. I always enjoy hanging out with Avedro. Um, but I think it's really interesting to see. Evedro like so unsure of himself and so like just not lost but indecisive uh which is is such a strange state for him and it's it's sort of uh neat to see him go through plus funny to see him tormented by relationship stuff <laughs> um ethan i I'm really enjoying darius's uh like disaster prophet sort of mode um I, I think it's the you just like getting itchy after a day and a half of like well nothing's exploded and the sky hasn't fallen down so it must really be gearing up for something terrible you guys um which is a it's a really fun uh idea and also like just oh the the terribleness of their life and no wonder they haven't figured out like the depths of their amazing godlike powers. They just haven't had time to stop. Um, and I uh, the 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 angels like speeding up time and and like hard running progression for their their engine that they're building is really cool it's it's a neat and unexpected idea and it's also a very daunting problem to try and engage with because you know like it that is its own specialized form of death like going into a time sink and getting cut off from everything you left behind and just being out of the world for a while um is is a really like that's a hard problem to approach i'm looking forward to it um wishes uh i i definitely want to like get more out of uh delicandala's story and and sort of see where they're at um and then yeah just just investigating what's going on in the in Gestia is fascinating yeah. I, I do think like, we definitely have to have you have a scene with Dalek and Dala just, you know, to, mm -hmm. to play that out uh, definitely next time. Uh, Darius? Uh, yeah. I mean, stars for all the little, like, details of things that are clearly already established, like, and 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 new things like the shrine, you know, <laughs> just the details of the shrine. Um, uh, and it's, it's, dampness and lack of anything that would attract a cat there <laughs> <laughs> um and the like the 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 ship and it's you know the the, the uh i can't talk the parrot um with the you know <laughs> with the not at all parrot like voice um uh the the people riding bicycles around the library like i just the all the little details people filled in um i think i don't know it gives the the whole setting and premise the, the world of uh, a lot of a lot of flavor and personality uh that i i enjoyed this giving me a little bit of a sense of what this world is like Anything wishes wise? Um, no, I don't think anything that hasn't already been said. Okay, we'll, maybe we'll get those rats back on 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 screen again too. So <laughs> we'll try that. That's, that would be my wish. Uh, and uh, uh, threadless. Um, I I enjoyed all the scenes in 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 a way, just like for the the uh, enjoying all the stuff that we had built. Uh, 
previously. So getting to uh, see all of that again was very pleasant and very nice. Um, I enjoyed the the shrine because um, Tass is such a scoff law. So, um, you know, <laughs> it's just that sort of thing of, um, you know, you've got your your chaotic gods and you've got your lawful gods and you've got your neutrals and and we know which side Cassos. Not not evil, just chaotic in a in a, a very stiff. Just didn't follow any of the building regulations. I just it's appalling. Um, I have to go talk to Doctor to to uh, the ransom to have him go see the the crocodile, get the right paperwork done. Um, yes. <laughs> No, it was good. It's just everyone's got good stuff. I feel I feel bad for Tanusha. She's going to be devastated. Um, you know, and I just but then in some ways maybe she's escaped to I don't I don't know. And then it seems changed. I'm not sure what to think of it. So it is yes, it has been a time of great change. Um, so it, it's been fun. I enjoyed it very much. Everyone was really funny and lovely and brilliant. Anything wishes wise? Uh, you know, I kind of like. I don't know. I don't know. Can we go through and like look at our points and switch things around? Would that be a thing, or yeah, should we? Absolutely, okay. we've, had, we've had an arc break. So if there are, if you want to swap around your gifts. For other things, uh, I, 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 you know, I, th I think if there are a couple that you want to change, that seems absolutely reasonable to me. Okay, I have to go through and and pick up the rules book to see how many points I actually have since we're level seven, right? So correct. There's some set number that I'm working with. Absolutely. Very bad at the maths, but yes, I think I might do that. That's okay. Me, I would like to kind of look through my stuff and and maybe re retool. So sounds good. All right, I am going to stop the summary. Uh, did I start the summary? Maybe I forgot to. Uh, and I am going to uh, stop the recording.